G'day everyone, Daniel Legrady here and thank you for joining me for another Wasabi Cars video. This is the April update, oh my god. And uh, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this suit, it's for Phyllis White. Blue White, see there you go. Uh, but also, I had a ceremony at school today, so that's another reason why I have this suit on. <laughs> Sorry Phyllis. Um, but anyway, what a day it was, because uh, the start of the school year in Japan, so uh, in Australia, the school year fits into the year, right? So it's from January to December. It kind of makes sense to me that you would start and finish when you go up a grade the year changes but anyway in Japan it's the middle of the year Whoa! spins me out um, now because uh, it was school holidays now the problem with school holidays is I get presented all this theoretical free time doesn't turn out like that I got uh, my kids are home all day and uh, it turns out that I can't hardly do anything that I wanted to do bit of a shame but uh, I'm not hating on my kids um, of course I'm kidding, but um, the problem with that, yeah, and then I lose focus, it's like a, um, like a machine gun, you know, spraying bullets at a wall, not hitting the target, just bullets, crap going everywhere, and I mean that by lots of videos and lots of pictures on Facebook as well, you know, and it's not, I'm not happy with it all, so um, anyway, so this is a refocus and that's what this video is about, I want to tell the newer subscribers where Wasabi Cars came from, what to expect from the future as well. But before I get to that, I've got to duck over here. Wait a sec. So there are two posters on the wall. One is, um, I visited Rocky Auto. I've got the 2014 calendar. Mr. Watanabe himself gave me that uh, calendar, so it means a lot to me. It might stay, I don't know. Then there's the yellow Monaro, Warwick yellow Monaro. I bought that from Rare Spares back in 1988 or 89 in Brisbane. And uh, recently I saw the original painting of that painting on eBay as well. So yeah, I, the, the artist, I don't know, selling all his stuff or passed away. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, some uh, potential replacements. This one, this is the 2015 calendar. Now all of these cards here are award winners from the 20... Like, yeah, the last year's uh, Mojiko Retro Car Meeting. And uh, this one here is the Wasabi Cars winner. That's it. So this is my Takara Mono, my treasure. Takara Mono, my treasure, my treasure. I love it, my precious. So that could go up. Also, there is um, the Neo Classic Car Show. Same organizers, same uh, location. But this is for the uh, later, you know, 80s. Uh, oh, there you go, 1976 to 1989 cars. So I've been asked to present an award here as well. So um, that's another important one. So anyway, considerations. Now, I want to talk about where Wasabi cars came from. Now, it all started with a, an amazing find. It was a ZZ28 Camaro. Had the RS package split bumpers. And, um, and then from there, yeah, it was a rusty car. It was in Japan, and that is Wasabi cars. Wa, Japan, Sabi, rust, cars. It speaks for itself. So Wasabi cars, that's how it all started. And, uh, and then from there I was seeing rusty cars all over the place and little collections, you know, odd little collections of cars everywhere. And it was amazing. I was loving it. Um, I was seeing cars I had never seen before. It was exciting. I was learning. So, um, excuse me. That was that. And then from there, there was this need for more content. I wanted to put out more videos. Then I discovered car shows, which are happening all the time, which I'd missed for the last decade. Uh, and who knows what I have missed, actually. They'll, you know, the cars that were going to those car shows, I'll probably never see, or, you know. And I don't know what I'm missing, really. But anyway, it's a dilemma for uh, <laughs> dream times. Anyway, so that's sort of where we're going as well. So lots of car show content. I try to get cars moving if I can. I tend to stick around at the end of the car show, really with aching legs, and it's hot as buggery, and the cars go past, and I get some video. So that's also what I'm trying to do. Videos with no narration as well for non-English speakers. It's the least I could do. I do live in a non-English speaking country. That would be one particular reason. Um, so yeah, that's where I came from. And that's where I'm going. Just a moment. So generally speaking, I like classic cars, older cars, cars with metal bumpers. Now, yes, occasionally. I do bizarre ass cars, I do cars with plastic bumpers, but um, in each and every case it's, it's a video of a car or a vehicle or something that I feel a strong 
uh, uh, reaction or rea feeling toward, you know? It's got to be interesting. If I have no interest in it, it's not going to be made. Or if I make it, it's going to be a crap video. So I have to feel it. And I've been guilty of doing that in, in the last few hundred videos. Definitely there are some videos where I'm trying to push something on you, on you guys that I'm probably not feeling myself. Or wasn't in a good mood to start with, so apologies for that. But uh, yeah, anyway, I gotta get make videos of cars that I that I like, and I get some requests. It's just bizarre, you know. Like uh, for example, post 2000 Euro cars, like oh Mercedes something, and I'm like, it's just so completely not Wasabi cars. So apologies, but I have to feel it. it has to be interesting, and uh, newer cars just don't um, strike me as that interesting. But there are exceptions. Example. Um, first generation MR2. When I look at it and I know there are fans, I get nothing. Nothing. Nothing is racing. But I did see a midnight blue with black Watana Bears uh, MR2 and uh, it would looked amazing and I just didn't get footage of that car unfortunately but uh, it is an example of you know I just need to find something that I like so it could happen for some of the cars you request but newer stuff generally not going to happen, although I might say something like, um, yeah, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> Apologies, i got to, you know, what am I going to say? Fat chance, dig in. Can't say that. Um, anyway, oh, okay, so, yes, and um, <laughs> next, uh, to Patreon who support Wasabi Cards, thank you so much, because um, for Wasabi Cards, I feel I'm trying to do something a bit different, trying to do something... I've got to get out there, I've got to travel places, I've got to find these these rusting cars, these classic cars, these interesting cars before they evaporate, before they get crushed. So I've got to, I push myself to travel around and just last week I drove down to Kagoshima, I did mention that in the Volkswagen junkyard video, which was a video or two ago, it could have been last video, but um, uh, in the car that I saw in Kagoshima, that I went down to see, blew my mind and uh, it won't interest any of you or it might I don't know but um, it could be a big it could cause a big splash but not with JDM lovers although it is a JDM just saying keep an eye out for that um, so yeah there are stickers there are t-shirts um, links all of the, to all this stuff is below I'm getting new stickers you know um, I'm getting stickers with the sticky bits on the face you can stick it on your window on the inside therefore you're not going to scratch it or lose it if you scrub your car with sandpaper, for example. Um, also, there is the, more of these stickers coming. I sold them all out. Like, well, I sold over 50 of them. I can't believe it. So thank you all very much for that. And um, please, guys, if you could help out, if you could contribute, no pressure, just if you can. That'd be great. I will leave it there. This is my second attempt at this video. The last one hit 10 minutes and then I realized the bloody mic plug wasn't plugged in. That's my phone! I've got to go, everyone! Goodbye! I missed the phone, it just stopped ringing.